Microtubule inhibitors, as their name implies, disrupt the microtubules and inhibit mitosis, which is a specific phase of the cell cycle. Anti-cancer agents in this class include the vinca alkaloids and the taxanes. But first things first, the cytoskeleton is a network of proteins within the cell that gives each cell its shape, and it anchors organelles in place. But it's also a dynamic network, which can change shape when the cell wants to move, contract, divide, or pull in or push out molecules. It's made up of three proteins, actin filaments, intermediate filaments, and microtubules. Microtubules are made of alternating rounds of proteins called alpha and beta tubulins, which form long strands called protofilaments. Thirteen of these protofilaments come together to form a single microtubule. Microtubules play a super important role in cell division. During cell division, there are two centrosomes inside the cell, and each centrosome is made out of two centrioles. Each centriole is in turn made up of nine sets of microtubule triplets. Now, cell division, or mitosis, can be divided into four subphases, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. During prophase, the membrane around the nucleus disintegrates, and the chromosomes condense. During metaphase, chromosomes move toward the middle of the cell, on a line called the metaphase plate. Each chromosome is made up of a pair of sister chromatids, which are joined together in the centromere where there's a specific protein complex called the kinetochore. When the chromosomes are in place, each centrosome sends out thread-like projections called spindle fibers that attach to the centromere of each chromosome. Spindle fibers consist of microtubules that originate from the centrioles and polymerize in the direction of the kinetochores. Next, during anaphase, the centrosomes start pulling on the spindle fibers to pull the sister chromatids apart, forming the mitotic spindle. It looks kind of like a fishing line being cast out to its target, and then the line gets reeled in, pulling the kinetochore and its attached sister chromatid away from its partner chromosome. Finally, there's the telophase, during which a nuclear membrane forms around each new set of 46 single chromatid chromosomes. After that, during cytokinesis, the cell membrane pinches in until the two daughter cells separate. All right, now cancer cells replicate rapidly, so they're constantly undergoing mitosis and the microtubules are always at work. This means that microtubule inhibitors will affect these cells more than our healthy cells, most of which only divide occasionally. Interfering with the formation of microtubules will cause mitosis to fail, and the cell will eventually die without replicating. The two commonly used anti-cancer microtubule inhibitors include the vinca alkaloids and the taxanes. All anti-cancer microtubule inhibitors are given intravenously. Alright, let's start with vinca alkaloids, which include vinblastine and vincristine. Vinca alkaloids bind to beta tubulin and block its polymerization into protofilaments, which form microtubules, centrioles, centrosomes, and spindle fibers. This means the cell can't form stable mitotic spindles, and will stop at metaphase. So vinca alkaloids act in the M phase of the cell cycle and are cell cycle specific. Moving on to indications, vinca alkaloids are used for solid tumors like breast cancer, pediatric tumors like rhabdomyosarcoma and nephroblastoma or Wilms tumor, and leukemias. Now vincristine is also used for Hodgkin's lymphoma, while vinblastine is used for non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Moving on to side effects, Vinca alkaloids disrupt the progression of mitosis in all rapidly dividing cells in the body, including hair follicles and gastrointestinal epithelium. So vinblastine and vinylrelbine cause alopecia, or loss of hair, and gastrointestinal symptoms. In addition, they're associated with bone marrow suppression, since the cells here are constantly making the platelets, red, and white blood cells. Now, vinblastine causes more bone marrow suppression, but vincristine is more neurotoxic, which usually manifests as peripheral neuropathy causing symptoms like a decrease in sensation in the toes and fingers, sometimes called a glove and stocking distribution, as well as autonomic nervous system malfunction with orthostatic hypotension, urinary retention, and constipation. Alright, next are the taxanes, which are also alkaloid derivatives, and include paclitaxel and docetaxel. Taxanes also act on microtubules, but they act differently from vinca alkaloids. They enhance tubulin polymerization into protofilaments and microtubules, but they also bind directly to the spindle fibers and stabilize them. 
so they act like cement that overstabilizes the microtubule and prevent them from depolymerizing and breaking down. This is a problem because the microtubules need to break down during anaphase so the cell can divide. So taxanes are also cell cycle specific and act on M phase. For indications, they're used for a variety of solid tumors including breast, ovarian, lung, gastroesophageal, prostate, bladder, and head and neck cancers. Side effects include alopecia, myelosuppression, and neurotoxicity, which again presents as a glove and stocking peripheral neuropathy. Also, they're associated with a possible hypersensitivity reaction during infusion. Alright, so now let's make a simple and fun mnemonic that'll help you efficiently memorize these pharmacology facts about microtubule inhibitors. Alright, so let's imagine we're in ancient Rome, and there's a temple being constructed with four microtubule pillars. Now, the first two pillars can't be finished because there are vines growing all over them, which represent the vinca alkaloids, while the other has fruits that look like crystals, for vincristine. For indications, let's use crabs to represent cancer, since in the zodiac, cancer is a giant crab. Between the two pillars, there's a solid stone crab statue to help you remember both drugs are used to treat solid tumors. On top of the statue is a baby crab, because they're also used for pediatric tumors like Wilms tumor. Finally, the stone crab is carrying a giant bone club with little white crabs in the bone marrow. This represents leukemia, which originates in the bone marrow. For drug-specific indications, let's use a hedgehog for Hodgkin's lymphoma. And this little guy's eating the crystal fruits from vincristine. Next, an unlucky hedgehog ate the bomb fruits from vimblastine, and all his spines blew off. So he doesn't look like a hedgehog at all anymore. So he represents non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. To make things worse, some of his bones also blew off and remained shattered on the ground, which helps you remember vimblastine suppresses the bone marrow. For vincristine, let's cover the little hedgehog's legs in bandages to help you remember the glove and stocking peripheral neuropathy. For the shared side effects, will have a bald man sitting by the statue for alopecia. And he's vomiting at the foot of the statue, which represents the GI side effects. All right, moving on to the taxanes, which will be represented by two tax collectors by the third and fourth pillar. One of them is a doe for docetaxel, and the other is a pack mule for paclitaxel. They spent the money they collected on cement to make the pillars ultra durable. All right, for indications of these two drugs, let's put another statue of a stone crab between them since they're also used for solid tumors. This crab is holding a pair of bras in one claw for breast cancer, and an egg in the other claw for ovarian cancer, which are the two most common uses. For side effects, let's have a janitor cleaning the statue. He's also bald for alopecia, and he's sweeping away some broken bones, which represent bone marrow suppression. His hands and feet are wrapped in bandages for peripheral neuropathy, and there's a syringe sticking out of his arm which is covered in a red rash. This will help you remember that these drugs can cause a hypersensitivity reaction at the injection site. All right, as a quick recap, microtubule inhibitors like vinca alkaloids and taxanes are used as anti-cancer agents. Vinca alkaloids include vincristine and vinblastine. They work by binding to beta tubulin and blocking microtubule formation and thus the affected cells are arrested in metaphase. They're also used for treatment of solid tumors, pediatric tumors, leukemias, and lymphomas. Taxanes include paclitaxel and docetaxel and they work by overstabilizing microtubules and preventing their breakdown during anaphase. Again, cells are arrested in metaphase, so both vinca alkaloids and taxanes are cell cycle specific agents. Taxanes are used for the treatment of solid tumors like breast and ovarian cancers. But wait, there's more. Here's a mind map with all of the mnemonics. Go ahead and pause the video so you can test yourself to see what you remember, and stay tuned for the answers after the credits.